Hello everyone. Let us look at how to model a crystal glass like this. And we are going to use this glass to create some awesome caustics effect which looks like this. Okay, so we will create a glass material and it will cast caustics onto the surface and if you wait a little bit you will start seeing more of these. Alright, so we will see how to model the crystal glass. So let us go and open a general file and I will delete the cube and I will add a cylinder and we are going to use 12 vertices for the cylinder so when you create an object a window pops up here which can help you change how the mesh is made up of and here I am going to move it up on the ground Okay, so if I hit 0, I can see that how it is framed and I can see how the light is affecting them. I can also create a plane which can be scaled big. Okay, so you can see the shadows. So if I go to the top view, then I can, you know, where the light is and I want the shadow coming towards the light. So something like this, but we will work on that later. So I'll hit the tab key to go in the edit mode, go to face mode, select the top face only and delete the face. Then go to the vertex mode, go to wireframe mode, select this and scale it inside. This is our basic class. Okay. So we need some segments. One will be here, another will be here. And now I'm going to select edges, these edges, and I'll go to edge, bevel edge, just click and I'll add a 0 0.02 bevel and number of segments I'll hit. Okay, so this is what I get. Now what I will do is I will add a bunch of vertices here so that I can select the bottom ones and then I'll turn the soft selection on I will click on rotate and when I click and rotate I can increase the rotate option and then I can get this interesting design okay so now what we can do is we can click on this line, turn the soft selection on and go to edge, level edges and make it 0 0.02 so all our bevels will be 0 0.02. If I hit the alt and this key and then if I select shift alt and all of these I cannot do unfortunately I'll do one at a time to select all these edges okay and then I can go to the front view and hit the control key and deselect the top edges edges deselect the top edges and I can also, I don't need the vertices here, and then I do need these ones, Okay, I did not need these lines. So I made a mistake, so I'll do it again. Shift Alt and select all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
9, 10, 11, and 12. And then I hit the 3 key and then deselect all these. Okay, that's good. And I'll go to Edge, Bevel Edge, and click and make it 0 0.0. So that's our basic cup. We go to modify panel. We'll add solidify and make it 0 0.2, 0 0.05 square for thickness. So we get the thickness here, and then we can add subdivision surface object shade smooth. And then we don't have a sharp edge. So we can use this and make a sharper edge. Okay, and then you get this interesting design for the cup, which is what we want. All right, so in the next tutorial, we'll look at how caustics work. Thank you.